Hi angels, hi my loves. Today's video is on my Vince Camuto backpack. My Vince Camuto bag. Basically I did a Dollar Tree and TJ Maxx makeup haul and I have the items stored right here in my Vince Camuto backpack. So if that's something that you're interested in, then go ahead and keep on watching. And remember to go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Go ahead and give this video a like as well as subscribe to the channel. So yeah, you guys, I'm excited. Let's jump right in. Let me start off by saying that this will be quite a long video. I have quite a few items that I wanted to go through with you guys. So go ahead, grab yourself something to drink and get comfortable. And if you're a makeup girl like me, then this is a treat. Let's go ahead and jump right in. So this is my Vince Camuto backpack and I did a TJ Maxx and Dollar Tree makeup haul and I have all the items stored in this backpack right now. And you know, I have some other places that I store my makeup. But right now when I did this haul, I wanted to go ahead and store some of my items in this backpack. When the pandemic first started, I was using this Vince Camuto backpack for my Clorox wipes, my hand sanitizer, my gloves and masks, as well as my disinfectant spray. Basically at work, I wanted a see-through bag when the pandemic started. So I went ahead and I picked up this Vince Camuto backpack at TJ Maxx. You know, now I don't use it for that purpose anymore. And I just had it, you know, my backpack, this Vince Camuto backpack sitting around the house. And I was like, okay, well, I'm not using it. And I love it so much. I love the clear see-through stadium bags, like the Kurt Geiger bags. And this Vince Camuto backpack, when it came in TJ Maxx, I just couldn't resist it because it's large and I thought it would be rather useful. And you can see it has the Vince Camuto little uh, card right there of authenticity. I didn't even know that Vince Camuto came with these cards, but yeah, they come with a little card right there. And well, I put it in the little card slot in the back pocket of the backpack, but it was on the interior of the bag when I purchased it. And you could see I have my makeup haul items, some pedicure kits in there, mirrors, lipsticks. I have some uh, eyelashes, nail polish, lip gloss, and other things. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I wanna do is give you the dimensions of the backpack. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So the Vince Camuto large clear backpack is going to be about 11 inches long. It's about 11 inches long by about 11 inches tall. And it is about three and a half inches wide. Okay, so now that we have the dimensions out the way, let's go ahead and jump right in. So I'm gonna put the backpack over here so we can have some space for all these items, you guys, because we're gonna be pulling out quite a few makeup haul items. Let's get started with this lower compartment right here. So the first thing that I wanna talk about is all my little lip glosses and things for, you know, since we're wearing masks right now during the pandemic. All right, so let's go ahead and get these items out so we could talk about them. The first couple of items that I have are some lip glosses. And these are so fun, you guys. You guys know when these come in, the Dollar Tree. First of all, let me say that I used to sleep on the Dollar Tree. I used to think that, oh, I don't want makeup from the Dollar Tree or I don't want anything out the cosmetics aisle. And one day I was in the Dollar Tree shopping for other items, home utility items like light bulbs and things like that that you could catch cheaper at the Dollar Tree than at home goods. And I was like, wait a minute. I remember a while ago, a couple years ago, I purchased these Fanta and Coca-Cola and different little lip glosses from Target and I ordered them and they were like $3.99 each. They were like $3.99 and now they have come in the Dollar Tree, in the Dollar Store. So anytime they come in the Dollar Store, I make sure I go ahead and I pick up several of them, you guys, and they have all the different, you know, nice flavors. And it's really good to catch a deal on them at the Dollar Tree. The next thing that I wanted to talk about is the e.l.f. brand. I've purchased e.l.f. at other stores. And, you know, e.l.f. can be a mid-range lipstick or eyeshadow brand. Um, you know, on the lower side, drugstore side, or middle range side of price-wise price wise range so when i saw that elf came in the dollar tree i was just so ecstatic you guys because i mean 
you know, I, I have, you know, we all have some higher end lipsticks and different things, but e.l.f. Is, is a nice brand as well. And for that to come into the Dollar Tree, I was just so, so happy when I saw, <clears throat> excuse me, that e.l.f. started coming in the Dollar Tree as well. So I do have some water here, you guys. This is going to be quite a long video, so go ahead. Like I said, have yourself something just like me. I might need, you know, to have take a little sip of my water to keep going. <clears throat> okay, excuse me. So the next thing that I wanted to talk about was these nail polishes. Um, it's nice sometimes to go ahead and just grab some of these really cute with the summertime coming. I love these neon colors, you guys. These neon colors are so cute. And, you know, of course you're going to have other, you know, brands of nail polish that you like. But to get the neon colors. And then I know some people, you know, I like sometimes as well the non-chip uh, colors. And these are not non-chip, but sometimes they'll, you know, help you out when you're in a crunch. And, you know, you want to go ahead and do your nails. As well as, you know, these will help you in an emergency. Sometimes when you want to just go ahead and do your lashes. I, one of my first brands when I was a teenager at Walgreens that I used to purchase was Wet n Wild. I used to purchase Wet n Wild lipstick and Wet n Wild eyeliner. And I have to admit, I pulled away from the eyeliner and the lipstick um, uh, from this brand a little bit. But, the, you know, these came in and I wanted to try them. So I went ahead and picked these up. Okay, so now we're through. We don't have anything else in the smaller compartment. Let's go ahead and check out the large compartment of my Vince Camuto backpack, you guys. So we have more lashes, and these are date night. They're by a brand called Diamond, and these are really, really cute. They're a little bit more wispy than the Wet n Wild ones, you guys. Okay, next, also with my nails, sometimes you're going to get caught in a crunch and you want to do your nails. So I ended up going ahead and picking up these press-on nails at the Dollar Tree. These will come in handy. And from TJ Maxx, I, I located these and I just thought that these were so cute. And I know, you know, they might look a little kid-like, but at the same time, sometimes you want to be a material girl and you want to play girly Barbie pink. It's okay for an adult woman sometimes to play girly Barbie pink. And these came in at TJ Maxx and you can see the price right there and I just thought that those were so adorably cute to play girly pink with um, I don't think they're too kid like because they're all pink and only two of the nails on each hand you know only two of them will say Barbie you know the others will be just the regular pink so that's fine about you know you'll have a total of about maybe four you know nails that say it or you could only you can only use two you don't have to use all of them you could just put barbie on like the thumb and to accentuate your nails and i think that'll be really really cute okay the next thing that i picked up was these right here for your pedicure you know we all know that sometimes we need a little extra pampering you know at the heel area and these come so in handy i've purchased these at amazon for higher prices and right now some of them are coming in um at the dollar tree so i couldn't go ahead and pass these up you guys because some of them i know when you purchase them online they have the removable little uh you know scraper part you could remove them and put a new one in but then with these you just use them and then use them a couple times and toss them out you know rinse them off wash them and maybe use them twice and then toss them out after that so these came in pretty you know pretty in handy and then we have this manicure set right here how cute is that you guys these are so cute they come with the little scrubber the um the little file your clipper so i went ahead and picked a couple of these up you guys And then I picked up this right here. Let me talk about this first. This I picked up from TJ Maxx, and I fell in love when I saw this. L'Oreal was an early brand when I was a teenager that I would use when I was around 18, 19, 20 years old. I still love L'Oreal lipstick to this day. Um, and 
it came in in this little card and I thought this was so cute because it looks like a love letter. It looks like a little love note or love, you know, card. And I thought it was so, so cute. And it was so affordable at TJ Maxx. This was only a couple bucks. It wasn't very expensive. And look at that, how it displays so nice. So of course I couldn't resist that. And I know this is bad of me, you guys. I know we all love packaging. I actually wished I purchased two of these. I only purchased one because I want to use one and I want to just keep one for display like on my dresser or somewhere. I just think that's so cute. Okay, let's keep going. What else do we have in here? We have a lot in here. Okay, more nail files. And this is by a brand called Diamond. And I mean, come on, who could resist these? What girl could resist these? The little designs on these files are so cute. And I do normally keep my fashion file, nail file that I got from fashion file in my purse with me. I have to be honest and say that one thing that I do like about the fashion file nail file and some of the other nail files is that they come with a case. I prefer when a nail file comes with a case, you know, because if you, oh, <clears throat> excuse me, if you open this and you have the nail file, then you, you naturally, you can't just put, once you open this and put the nail file in your purse, you don't want it to scratch up other items in your purse, you know, plus, you know, nail files tend to be, you know, dusty with the residue from your nails. You don't want that to get all over the inside of your bag. So I do like when a nail file comes with a case, but these are so stinking cute. So, you know, I'll just figure out how I'm going to use them. Sometimes you could just use it and repackage it. And then, you know what I'm saying? So that it doesn't, get all the nail residue on the inside of your bag. You guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, so the next thing that I guess we could talk about is here we have another foot file uh, for your pedicure. And this one is, you remember the egg? You guys remember the egg brand that used to be out? I remember when the egg uh, foot file came out years ago. It started off highly priced and then the price went down and just like anything else on the market after it's been out for a while it goes lower and lower and lower and now they have all types of you know knockoff you know foot eggs and I don't know whoever came up with that invention made a fortune with that foot egg because now they have all types of knockoff brand foot eggs and it's so funny because you guys remember the tv show sharks you know that they would have all type of inventors on the tv show sharks for all type of ideas and if you hit it big and you hit it lucky with an idea you know you that that idea they would patent it and it can make fortunes so whoever came up with the egg foot egg pedicure file idea I know they're sitting pretty somewhere you guys because other companies have now knocked it off and this is by the brand sassy and chic and a lot of their products come through the dollar store so I really like this item and here are some more files I never heard oh California nails okay I thought it was a different brand I have heard of them before I mean, who could resist all these neon pretty color design files, you guys? So I picked these up. The next thing that I want to talk about are these. And I have quite a few of these, I think, in different colors. Let me see. Can I find them? Okay. I think I have one other color in there. But these came in LA Colors in the Dollar Tree. And they the scents of these are so, so nice. They're lip balms. They go great under your mask to moisturize your lips. And they were a dollar, you guys. So, I mean, you can't pass that up. They come in the scent mint. The green is the mint. It smells so good. And then I uh, picked up a couple of the berry flavor. And I think there's one other flavor that I have in my Vince Camuto bag. Here is another pedicure kit. These are always at the Dollar Tree. And these always are nice because you could just go ahead and repackage it and keep it with you. You know, and I usually just go ahead and take this off. Then that way, all you see is the pretty green. You know, you won't see all the label and all of that. Just go ahead and peel that off. And it's a nice pedicure travel pedicure kit, kit that you can keep with you in your bag. Okay, now I'm going to go through a few more of these really quickly. These came in and I absolutely love these. And I, I have when these when stuff comes in and it's cute I don't know what's wrong with me you guys I have a problem I'm a product junkie and I have to get them in every design now if this had only came in in one design or two designs then I would only be standing here holding one or two 
but they came in about four different designs and your girl your girl had to get every design you guys we're at the dollar tree you have to treat yourself so it came in this cute safari design with the little uh tiger stripes on the mirror and this is a brush and mirror set so i had to get the tiger safari one and then it came in this nice like sunset palm purple color with the palm leaves really pretty and then it came in this purple which is great for neutral if you want a solid color in your bag and can we talk about this can we talk about the flamingo you guys look at how cute that flamingo is so i had to get the little cute pink color with the flamingo on it and next i picked up a couple i think i have a couple of mascaras nothing fancy there just a couple of mascaras at the dollar tree you can't beat that price I have another clipper set, so, so cute. Okay, this came in at TJ Maxx, and I thought I had a couple of these. Okay, I do. So these came in at TJ Maxx. One of them is an eyeshadow, and one of them is a lip gloss. Of course, we need the lip gloss now for under our mask. And, you know, as opposed to the heavy, heavy lipstick. And I'm an eyeshadow product junkie as well. I like the lip kit, I have to say, a little bit more because it comes with a brush on the inside, whereas the eyeshadow palette doesn't. That's a pet peeve of mine. Um, I really wish that some of the makeup companies, like Too Faced and different ones, would, when they do an eyeshadow palette, I really wish that they would include. A brush or two for you because if not then you have to bring along extra brushes to reapply you know when you're not at home but it's okay you know it's something that I live with <laughs> but the lip gloss kit did come with a the lip glosses did come with a brush inside here for your lip gloss so once again I got these at TJ Maxx and they were very affordable and I love the elf brand Okay, you guys, I'm trying to make space here. Just a little bit more we have to get through. So I have a nail pen, and this is just a nail art design pen. And you could see the little designs that you could put, like glitter on the tip of your nail with this pen. So I've, I've never tried this before. Maybe a long time ago, not from this brand, but I wanted to try it, you know, again, because that was like so many years ago, if I did vaguely remember trying a nail pen. Um, so we'll see how it goes this time around with me trying to create a design on my pen, uh, on my nails, you guys, with this pen. Okay, what else do we have in here? I see another eyeshadow um, palette, and I'm an eyeshadow palette girl, so I couldn't resist that for that price if you ever run out. Like, I'm going to run out. I'm not going to run out of that, but just in case, you never know if you might run out. <laughs> Let's see what else we have here. Okay, I'm gonna talk about that in a minute. We have a nail file, and this one is so cute because not only do you get the nail clipper, but you get a nail file in the shape of a star. Isn't that cute? It's in the shape of a star. I thought that was so unique and cute to keep in your purse, so girly-like. You have the nail clipper and then the file and the buffer is in the shape of a star. So I thought that was pretty cute to pick up and bring with me. What else do I have in here? I have a e.l.f. Eyebrow, eyebrow pencil and eyeliner pencil. We are almost done, you guys. This Vince Camuto bag is almost empty. Okay, so here we have some more nail files, um, nail clippers, and then I have some more glosses from LA Colors, and this is the Gelato nip, uh, Lip Balm from LA Colors as well. I think I have a couple of these Gelato ones that are really cute. Here is another gelato. This one is another flavor. And then I have this nail file. And this nail file was so cute because it comes on a little like key ring. Um, not that I would, I wouldn't hang this from my key ring, but it does come on a little key ring, keychain, And it has the little different color emery boards. I thought that was cute. And then I got this from TJ Maxx. And this is the Kim K. The Kim Kardashian perfume. So let me go ahead and show you guys that. So this is the Kim Kardashian perfume and it just smells so good, you guys. So I picked that up from TJ Maxx. 
And then the last and final things that I have in the bottom of my Vince Camuto bag here, you guys, are more nail polish colors. Go ahead and put this over here. I don't want everything to start falling. I have so much up here. Some more nail polish colors. A few more nail polish colors. This pink is really pretty. That's a deep, hot pink. And the last and final item, I have two more things in here. More eyeshadow. I love the greens and the teal eyeshadow colors. And a brush. And I have to be honest, this brush is, you know, it's from the dollar store. It's cute. It's like a unicorn brush. I liked it for the different glitter and the rainbow sparkle design in there. Um, as far as using it, it is a little bit more, um, what's a good word for it that I'm looking for? It's, it's not as high end as some of, of some, uh, as some of my other brushes, <laughs> I will admit. But it's so stinking cute, you guys, with that little uh, mermaid type, you know, iridescent glitter pattern on the handle. So I had to pick that up. And that's everything that was in my Vince Camuto bag. I don't want everything to start falling over. And this is my see-through bag, what it looks like empty. So I just wanted to go ahead and share with you guys everything that I had in my Vince Camuto backpack. And this is a nice, clear, large backpack, you guys, that you could carry some of anything in. It's really, really cute with any outfit. Um, the silver color that I purchased it in with the silver trim is really, really pretty and it can hold a lot. And like I said, I started off using this as a pandemic bag for my pandemic supplies and now it's become a makeup, extra makeup storage bag for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe on my channel. It was so much fun to do and I'll see you guys soon in another video.